Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and this is a very quick overview of why I use Hootsuite. Well, I can add lots and lots of different social media platforms to post from either all at once or for each individual thing. I can, let's have a look, um, I've got my streams which are these here. These are my, that's my home feed of people I'm following. These are my mentions, these are my direct messages, these are my pending tweets, so that's stuff that I've scheduled in advance. These are my lists, so recently followed, sent things, my retweeted things, and things I might be watching. Um, I can create a stream, so let's just get rid of that one by just clicking delete here. Do I want to delete it? Yes. And I can add a new one of what I might be listening for. So let's go to keyword and we can add up to three different keywords or phrases. So a keyword is not necessarily one word, it could be a few. So let's put Newbury Business. Let's put And then let's put Berkshire social media. So all three of those keywords I can now create one stream for, which has now arrived. <laughs> Funnily enough, it hasn't found anything for any of those. That's not very clever, is it? So let's change the preferences. So we'll take new brew business out and we'll put Berkshire in general. Okay, the share with team and enable in si um, assignments is because I have a paid for version which is about a five or a month, and that means I can add somebody else onto my account and I can assign different jobs between people. These are all my streams that I can edit. I'm just going to set changes on that. I can add lists and I can do all sorts of other funky things there. I can now filter this and I can filter it either by clout score. So the clout score is them measuring how influential somebody is. So if I only ever want to listen to somebody who's got a clout score of over say 40, then that's all that appears in the stream. So you can then only have the people at the very top that you want to connect with or listen to. Um, or I might just do it by keyword. So I can pick the keyword that I want to watch in that stream. And that's pretty funky. And it's very useful. So you can have up to 10 across here, which is great. So we've also got publisher. Now, this is um, another way of scheduling things to go out, and this shows you what's scheduled to go out, and who's done it. So if you do have team members doing stuff on here, you can see exactly what it is they're doing. So that's cool. Um, some things might require approval. Um, the past scheduled is stuff in the past, so you can go back and pick out things and reschedule them. And RSS feeds, are actually feeds that you're taking from elsewhere that are going through your account as and when they happen. So they're pretty funky and pretty easy to do. And you can change them on the settings. So what else have we got on here? Well, we've got analytics. That's pretty funky. I can create reports. I can see reports on things. So Facebook Insights or a click summary of things with connections on here and what's made people click. So I can create those. Um, I can also do it from things shared with me. And I can label things and I can show what they want to look at. So let's have a quick look at one of these. So this is a click summary and it's showing you um, the graph. It's showing you the breakdown and it's actually showing you 
what got what clicks. That's quite cool. So assignments is only for when you have people that you are working with and you're giving things out for them to do. These are my profiles that are on here and these are the people in each one. So let's just click on me and it shows you people who are following me and people who I follow. So I can have a quick flick through and decide do I want to follow this person and instantly do it, which is quite quick and quite fun. So you can go and have a quick flick through and choose whether to follow or unfollow different people. Which is all quite cool, I think. And quick. Um, you can see how many they're following, how many followers they have, and their clout score to see whether you really do want to be connected to them, if that's your strategy. So, what else have we got? Well, we've got settings, and this is where you can add and delete networks. It's very quick. You go to add social network. You decide which one you want to add, and you will connect via this system here. Um, I would suggest you don't follow Hootsuite, but you do convey it, and you tab for it automatically. And it'll appear at the top of your dashboard. Now you can have up to five on there for the free version and use as many as that you want for the paid for version. So I can add people to do things. I can add RSS feeds. I can change my account. I can change my preferences. I can change my themes. I'm sure we'll get far more than this soon. So what else have we got? Well, we've got um, tools. So we've got the Hootsuite University, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got an affiliate program, so you can get people to come and join. Um, you've got mobile apps you can add, and you've got extensions and downloads. This Hootla is quite cool. Because I can put him on my browser at the top and just click straight on there to use Hootsuite to post out to wherever I want. So that's all pretty funky. And that's um, the Hootsuite app in Google Chrome. So you can go and download that for free. And that's cool. And we've also got a very comprehensive help desk. And they've got their blog and frequently asked questions terms and conditions and their privacy policy. So that's why I use Hootsuite. Let's get back to my stream to see what the heck's going on. I think it's fun. Go and have a look, tell me what you think.